Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and I was um, one of the moderators of Best of Evo Tools for Student Collaboration. This was um, the second year of uh, Tools for Student Collaboration. It's mostly about how we can collaborate using various tools. I'm going to take you through some of the tools that we used in a bit about the session. A little overview. What's great about uh, this uh, Evo session from um, the reflections and feedback that we got was the fact that everyone was able to work together and learn from one another. They really, really enjoyed that. The uh, collaboration they were actually not learning about, but they were engaged as learners. And that really helped them feel and understand what the process was all about. A little bit about me. And these are the collaborative tools that we used. We used Flipgrid, Vimeo to record the screen. We used Voki as an introductory tools. Uh, participants introduced themselves and they really had a lot of fun with Voki. They also used Canva to share images because they worked in teams and collaborated on a debate topic of their choice for and against using uh, just images on the slides. They use Google Slides and they, the images that they collaborated on and created were done on Canva. They also used Wakelet as a way to share the work that they did with each other. Miro and Padlet, they use Quizlet, Kahoot, and they shared their introductions using a Kahoot challenge. They had a lot of fun with that as well. And the idea, of course, is to share Google Docs for various activities, as well as presentations and forms. They not only created a form, and the form was an evaluation form. They presented their work using audio, their debate topics uh, with Google Slides. They used audio uh, as an add-on to Google. And then they shared their work in social networks and with their colleagues to get feedback on how good the presentations were and, and, and if the information was relevant and the images. They did this in a Google form. Each team created a, a Google form and they shared that form, got the information and they shared the results of um, the uh, survey that they took. They also used Google Jamboards and then they collaborated because they had these um, other weekly meetings besides the weekly meetings that we had together. They also had their own weekly meetings using uh, Google Meet Jitsi, which is completely free and open source, as well as Zoom. It was really exciting to read their excitements, uh, the fact that they uh, felt that they had done so much. By the way, the feedback is available on Flipgrid, so anyone can actually view that as well. So in first, in week one, they used um, a Padlet wall to introduce themselves. They added pins. They also, as I said, used Voki to introduce themselves. Uh, some of the um, practical applications was grouping. There is a uh, group selection on Moodle. It's a plugin, an activity. And uh, that's how they got together. It was um, kind of self uh, grouping. And they did this on a Padlet wall. In other words, everybody added their interest and uh, what they were looking for on a team and what the subject that they were interested in. And that's how they teamed up using this group and getting to know one another through a Padlet wall. Um, the time zones, they also had to learn how to 
uh, enable the time zone, the correct time zone on their profile on the Moodle so that they could manage the live sessions. Uh, this is just an example. We started out with 79 participants and we ended up with about 30 who had completed everything. This is just um, at the beginning. Uh, week one, uh, this was the information they got. And the idea, of course, was to collaborate, get acquainted with the platform as well as each other and the teaming up process. I also gave them the dates and time, which was exactly the same for the Zoom meetings. These are the badges that um, they all received, all 30 of them received um, five badges, one for each week and two certificates. One is an Evo certificate and the other one is from the Moodle platform. I'm gonna take you to uh, the live site so you can get an idea of what it looks like. So here it is. This is the site and the course, let me go into it, is under EVO. There are a few EVO sessions on this particular EVO site. The category was Electronic Village Online. So I'm gonna to go to that category. There were 11 sessions on this Moodle. So it was really busy and very, very exciting. So tools for student collaboration. Let me get to it. So these are the sessions. I'll be going through another two sessions. So there it is, uh, Tools for Student Collaboration. Right now, there aren't any participants, but anyone can come in and view. Oh, actually there are, I see some, uh, can come in and view. Notice these are the weeks. They're available here, week one, two, three, four, and five, which is a showcase. Each week has an introduction. First of all, the overview, of course, which is the syllabus of introduction with a recording of each session on YouTube now, but we had Zoom sessions. And then there are the tools that we used as well as um, what it's like to create accounts. There are a few discussion topics. Uh, this is also a PowerPoint, find your location on the map and the Vokey where they had to introduce themselves. And uh, of course there were demo videos using YouTube on how to do that. They introduced themselves with the Kahoot, which was absolutely amazing. And this is the team up. Let me take you there team up by this is how they teamed up how they got to know one another on this padlet wall so the padlet wall was divided into columns uh, they added their interests under this area it's not there's nothing there right now and then there oh there is actually okay so they added their interests the time zone that they were in and this might be something to take into consideration. But notice they added photos, not just their time zones, but also photos of where they were coming from, which was really, really nice to, to see those photos. The team name, they came up with names that they wanted to give their teams and um, teaching ages. And you can see various ages as well. It was really um, very, very collaborative. <laughs> Uh, which is actually the name of the session, but it was really, really collaborative with lots of um, engaging activities. Let me try to leave this area here and go back to the session. Okay, so here we are, we're back here. So that was week one. And then um, in week two, they started their collaboration. So collaboration began with, you can see here, Google Docs and then Google Slides, Google Forms and Google Spreadsheets. So this again is the uh, 